on YouTube. I'm gonna do a video about um just some ghetto ass shit. I guess this is gonna be my ghetto view volume ten, basically. About that stupid ass taser hood rat mama in Atlanta. <clears throat> Let's talk about that first. Let me get this off the way. She was so type of wrong. She was so type of wrong. Her fat ass homegirl was so type of wrong. Them little bad ass kids was so type of wrong. Should have got their ass whooped, period, plain blank. And I can't say there was some part where I felt like the security guard was in some kind of wrong. Now, let's go with this little hood rat. And they say this happened in. Atlanta must have been in the ghetto part of Atlanta because that's all you saw, some ghetto-ass people hanging outside, and I can't stand to see people hanging the fuck outside all day, all night. What did it look like? I didn't see no bags in their hands, so what was y'all buying? It looked like they was like, okay, if you're from California, they call them a um, squabby. If you out from here, they like sleep. If you can, where I'm at now, it's in Texas, they call flea markets or whatever, but like kind of strip mall. That's what kind of they were. But they was at this place, and apparently the security guard had said something to this, these girls' kids. Must have told them to get down from somewhere or start running around, because that's what the hell they looked like they was doing. Because they didn't have no control once the mama started going off. They still running around and shit. But then he told them to stop, and the mother felt some kind of way. You got the big-ass Pumbaa. Uh, going at him, then you got come on going at him, then you got Puma come going at him, then you got come on. So then little Tamon thought she was going to be all big and bad because she thought her little homegirl had her back. So she going back and forth at the security guard. He's steady telling her to go. He's steady telling her to go. One thing I'm going to stop and say that I thought the security guard should have just said, like, it just shut the door and just walked away. When he walked away the first time, he walked away twice. He walked away like three times. And I thought he should have just shut the door because they looked like they wasn't going nowhere. They looked like they were there for trouble. So I would have just shut the door and locked the door or would have been like, you know, I ain't called the police. I never want him to say, heard him call the police or had somebody call the police to say it was a problem. Now, when he went, even when he went back to the door because the little, little bastards who kept running to the damn door, that's what made him like, look, these little bastards that keep running to the door. So then she comes up, he kind of pushes her back. Then she runs up again, he pushes her back again. Then he she runs up and he she pushes her back and then he tases her ass. I mean he was like mm -hmm. I mean, I can't do it because my wall right here. Well, I'm gonna go this way. He tased her and she was like <laughs> I mean, it was so funny and I was laughed so hard when she went down because I was like, bitch, that is exactly what you did. Now, people might come at me because of the way I said what I felt about that bus driver incident, and I still feel that way with the bus driver incident because I feel like he should have just took protocol. But with this one, homeboy didn't hit her. He didn't put his hands on her. He tased the shit out of her, which she should have got. Her little bastard-ass kids should have got tased her. Because let me tell you, now, once if their mothers checked them kids when they was calling this man gay, or... You guys are doing hate crime right there when y'all calling these men, this man is gay. Y'all, even though y'all don't know if he was gay, but y'all, I mean, you talking about he, the, the the big pumbo kept saying that he get fucked in the ass and he get fucked by dicks and all this. I mean, she was just really out of line. Then you got these little bastards saying how he's gay. Then after she, the bitch get paid, she he got some little punk ass thugs gets mad talking about his kids was right there, but I'm like, where were you at when your kids was running around the goddamn shopping mall? Where were you at when your kids was out there calling him gay? Where were you at when your girl was talking too much shit to a man that she shouldn't have been talking shit to? Like, if you had a problem, lady, you should have been saying, okay, let me call the police this man and got put his hands on my kids or whatever. So, bitch, shut up. Like, he needs to shut up. Then he's going to say, I'll be back at 6. What man tell you what time he coming back to fight? What man? T I mean, so that little was called kind of wrong. That I just felt like that little that girl, like it's all on the internet now, and you still don't have no case to try to sue him. But I think you should get some kind of reprimand. Um, you, your kids need to ask whoop. Somebody needs to come and get them and whoop their ass. Like, come on. Then you need to whoop your homegirl ass because after you got paid, I bet she didn't even try to. Bet she didn't even try to help you up off the ground. 
she was just like, oh, shit. Everybody was like, oh, shit. He just hated it. But not once did nobody try to help you off the ground. Uh, one of the dudes tried to get the little things off of you, but your homegirl that was talking shit, but you didn't try to help you, I wasn't here for that. I wasn't here for that. I just was like, are you fucking serious? Like, this shit is crazy. I felt like this girl was crazy, and I think she needs to be kind of, some kind of reprimand for it. The police need to see this tape, and some kind of reprimand needs to be with her for um, going up to a security guard like that. Because then you put him in danger really bad. Because there were so many guys out there. That shit could have went real bad after he paid you. All them guys could have jumped him. It could have just went really, really bad. Anyway, moving on from that. Um, it's a video, viral video of this girl, Jade. I don't even know if the girl's name is Jade. I don't know. But it's a video with this girl. It's taunting, taunting, taunting this girl. They in this gym locker, no teachers around, but they is her and some other little hood rat ass girls. Um, and they taunting this girl. And the girl is never saying nothing. She's not moving, she's not flinching. The girl all up in her face, like all in her face. Just not touching her, but just all in her face. Girl not moving. Girl not moving. But apparently the girl did some shit and got too close to her face and the girl just I mean, just gave it to her, beat the shit out of her. And I was laughing so hard, because I'm usually, I don't like these world star videos where these people fight, and I think they should just be childish, but when you got girls bullying and get your ass whooped, I love them kind of videos, because they show, this, this, these kind of videos should be showed in class when they show and they talk about bullying, and this is what can happen to a bully when you just messing with somebody that's minding their own damn business, like, period. I don't care if this girl was over there talking about you, you and her rumor she was talking about you. The taunting that this girl did was unnecessary, and she got her ass whooped for it. And that's why I say parents need to get on their kids where they just bullying for no damn reason. Then you got you doing shit to please your homegirls. Then when you got your ass whooped, now then one of your homegirls tried to break you, break it up. They didn't try to get this girl off from whooping your ass. Nothing. They just let that fight go on and video you get your ass whooped. So what kind of homegirls you got? They just watch you get your ass whooped. Anyway. Um, yeah. That's 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 my ghetto views this week. Um, because then were the top kind of stories that was on the internet um this week was was the video of the fight and the girl to taser. Then were the the things that happened this week. So, um, make sure you uh, rate, comment, subscribe to the Ghetto View. Talk to me. Talk. I'll talk back. Follow me on Twitter at the Ghetto View. Um, T H A not T H E. Miss Nico on Instagram. M I Z Z N E K eight sixty nine. And Facebook me at the Ghetto View. Talk to me, and I'll talk.